And while the whole world watched this with bated breath, it is indeed, indeed a sunshine moment for India. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, for making this happen by opening up new vistas for India's space sector and telling us that sky is not the limit. Thanks also, Honorable PM, for giving us the confidence, the courage, and the conviction to reach out to the stars and to discover the mysteries of universe beyond. And thanks also for making us realize the enormous potential of our space fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, Indian scientists had been working, toiling day and night for years and years together, but now, now comes the moment of vindication, the moment of redeeming the pledge to the nation. And coming close on the heels of successful Chandrayaan-3 landing, the successful launch of Aditya L1 is also a testimony to the whole of science and a whole of nation approach with which we have sought to adopt in our work culture. While ISRO is credited in executing this mission, the science institutes across the country have come forward to contribute in one form or the other, in small measure or big, to this mission. To name a few, the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru, the National Aerospace Laboratories, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, the Nijri, NGRI, Nagpur, the IIT, Khadakpur, IIT, Madras, IIT, Delhi, IIT Mumbai, and the list is too long. But that, having said that, gives me the confidence to say that this day is a day of reckoning when we move on into the next 25 years of Amrit Kal and Mother India pledges with the collective will and collective effort of our 140 crore children to reach and occupy the place of pride on the world pedestal. Congratulations once again, Chairman Somanath, the entire ISRO team. This event was only placing the Aditya L1 in the precise halo orbit. So it was moving towards a high orbit, but we had to do a little bit of corrections to put it at the right place. So something like a 31 meter per second velocity has to be given cumulatively to, in, uh, to the satellite to keep it at the right uh, orientation. So basically it's a halo orbit, it's an orbit which uh, moves around L1 point with a size of 6 lakh kilometer in one direction, uh, 2 plus lakh in one, another dimension, 3, 1 lakh in, 1 lakh kilometer in another dimension. So it formed like an egg. So in this new orbit it has to be placed, it has to be very precisely put. If you don't do the correction today, it will escape from this point. Okay, we will not allow it to escape if it does not happen. There are some contingencies, but I am only telling mathematically it can escape. So that has been very precisely done. Ultimately, what we achieved today is exact placement based on our measurement and very correct prediction of the velocity requirement. The computer decided to cut off at the accelerometer based cutoff has happened. So uh, right now it is at the in our calculation it is at the right place. But ये जो घटना है ये घटना बहुत बड़ी घटना है हमारे भारत की दृष्टि से और देखेंगे कि ये जो आदित्य L1 सोलर ऑब्जर्वेटरी है तो ये आज शाम को पांच बजे इज़रो द्वारा उसे उसका जो हेलो ऑर्बिट है उस ऑर्बिट में वो उसको स्थित करने वाले हैं और आज के बाद फिर सतत पांच वर्ष यह 
सूर्य का जो डायनामिक्स है सूर्य का जो वातावरण है उसके बारे में जानकारी वो आ, हमारे से बने आ, जो बेस स्टेशन है इसरो का उसके साथ साझा करने वाले हैं और ये जो जानकारी है ये जानकारी केवल भारत के दृष्टि से नहीं तो पूरे विश्व के दृष्टि से बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट इस तरह से होगी भारत का ये पहला ही सौर सोलार मिशन है और करीबन दो सितंबर को ये लॉन्च किया गया था और आज करीबन पांच महीने के बाद उसको उसका जो ऑर्बिट है उस ऑर्बिट पे प्लेस किया जाएगा ये बहुत बड़ी घटना है वन पॉइंट इज ए पॉइंट इन बिटवीन द अर्थ एंड द सन इन दैट डायरेक्शन अबाउट फिफ्टीन लाख किलोमीटर फ्रॉम द अर्थ एंड इट इज वन परसेंट ऑफ द डिस्टेंस टू दी सन दिस इज अ पॉइंट वेयर द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑफ द सन इक्वल्स द फोर्स ऑफ द अर्थ सो देर फोर इट्स ए पॉइंट वेयर वी आर intending to place adit l1 it's not exactly at this point uh, the uh, satellite will be placed uh, satellite is going to be placed in a halo orbit because that around that point uh, it will uh, be in an elliptical orbit and facing the sun all the time so uh, today's exercise is uh, a first step uh, in that direction when from the uh, almost linear path uh, towards the sun it is going to be placed in the uh, halo orbit and therefore that kind of a uh, a burn will be uh, given uh, to the satellite uh, so that uh, it uh, it takes to uh, that orbit so on uh, in the coming uh, days and uh, weeks uh, isro is going to track this uh, satellite so that it remains uh, or and it is kept in that intended orbit uh, around the l1 point